friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW Instant Pot recipe series. I have two absolutely outstanding, delicious, comforting recipes coming your way that are quick and easy and in the Instant Pot. I'm telling you, it is a quick, easy meal and the best part is the cleanup. It's one pan to clean up, so pretty darn amazing deal. So if you want to see what two recipes I have in store for you for this edition of my WW Instant Pot series, just stay tuned. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, I'm going to be making pot roast with carrots and potatoes. I am so excited about this. This pot roast even has a gravy, so this should be so good. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first, of course, you're going to need a roast. Mine is just shy of a three pound roast, and it is a petite sirloin, so it's a leaner cut of meat. If you can get a sirloin or a loin, you're gonna save yourself some points on your pot roast. Also, you'll need some tomato paste, some potatoes. I'm just gonna use the rest of these Trader Joe's Golds. I'm gonna do baby carrots. This is a pro tip for you to save from cutting carrots, peeling carrots. If you just get the baby carrots, they cook super fast in the crock pot and they hold their shape and they're delicious. Not crock pot, instant pot, either kind of pot. Baby carrots are just a great time saver and they taste really good. You'll also need some cornstarch, salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to be using this Lighthouse dried red onions instead of cutting up whole onions. My husband is not a big fan and I think this will still give that onion flavor without having huge chunks of onion. Onion powder, garlic powder, thyme and paprika. The recipe also calls for rosemary, but I am out, so I'm just omitting that. Also some minced garlic, chicken or beef broth. I'm gonna use chicken broth. Red wine, I'm gonna go with Merlot. And lastly, avocado oil. So let's get started on our Instant Pot pot roast. So the first step is we're gonna go ahead and cut our potatoes just into halves. That way they'll cook a little bit easier in the Instant Pot. And then I'm also going to take my roast and cut it into about four good sized chunks and trim any visible fat. And then we'll put together the rub for our pot roast and get everything into our Instant Pot. together the rub for our roast. So we're just going to combine quite a few spices. We're going to start first with some salt and we want about one and a half teaspoons worth of salt. I generally don't measure my spices. I just eyeball. You know, after you cook for so long, you kind of learn about what it looks like. So to me, this is about one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm also going to add some ground pepper and I want about a teaspoon of pepper as well. And of course, I'm not going to measure. Just gonna kind of wing it. Again, I'm not using rosemary, but I am gonna go ahead and add some thyme. So I want about one and a half teaspoons of thyme. So I'll generally put it in my hand. So that's about a teaspoon and a half. And then we're gonna add some paprika. I love smoked paprika. And I want about a half of a teaspoon of that. I just think the smoked flavor just gives it such a stronger paprika flavor, which is awesome. And then I'm also going to add in some onion powder and I want about a teaspoon of that. And then the last thing that we'll add in is some garlic powder. And again, I want about a teaspoon of that as well. And then I have my spoon here. We're just gonna give this a good stir. It looks really, really delicious. And then we'll get ready to rub this over the pieces of our roast. But that, my friends, is the rub for our pot roast. So to do our rub, I'm going to put my pieces of meat here on the cutting board. This is the same cutting board that I used to cut the meat, so it's already dirtied, so that works out really good. And then I've got my rub here, and I'm just going to take it, and I'm literally going to rub it into my meat. And I'm going to use it all, 
and I'm just going to really get it rubbed into all of the pieces here of my roast. And then we are gonna get ready to get this all into the Instant Pot. But really take some time and rub in those seasonings so that you get that delicious coating on your meat. So I've turned my Instant Pot onto the saute mode and I have put in one half of a tablespoon of my avocado oil. It is getting nice and hot. So we are going to take our chunks of roast. Ooh, listen to that sear and add them to our Instant Pot, two at a time to get that nice sear on our meat. We'll transfer it back here to our cutting board and then we're gonna add in some other, more of our ingredients and get it kind of sauteed down as well. Look at that nice sear, yum. So once you get that seared, we're just gonna go ahead and put it right back here on our cutting board and add in the other two pieces of our meat. Oh, yum. That just really helps enhance the flavor. And you get these nice brown bits here at the bottom. We want to use those in the rest of our cooking. So I'm going to get these last two pieces seared, and we'll be ready to add in some garlic and some other goodness. So our meat is done. I'm going to remove the last two pieces here. And as you can see, we've got those nice brown bits on the bottom. We definitely want that. So to our Instant Pot, we're gonna add the other half of a tablespoon of our avocado oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the last half of a tablespoon that we're gonna use to saute up some garlic, some onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of this jar of these dehydrated red onions. I did buy these at Costco. These are pretty great, but I'm gonna go ahead and use up the rest of them in here instead of large onion chunks. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some minced garlic. And I want quite a big spoonful of that as well. And we're just gonna let this kind of cook in that oil for just a couple of minutes. And we're gonna add in some tomato paste and kind of scrape up those brown bits. We'll add in our tomato paste here to our pot. I love the tube tomato paste. It makes storage so easy. You don't have to waste any. So we're still on saute mode. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and take it off of the saute mode. And then we are going to add in some wet ingredients. So first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and add in one half of a cup of our wine. Oh, yum. And we can use that in addition to what was in here to kind of scrape up those brown bits. And remember, we did go ahead and turn our Instant Pot off at this point. And then we're also going to add in two cups of our broth. So you can use chicken or beef, whatever you prefer. I only have chicken on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and add my two cups of chicken broth. And then lastly, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon here of my Worcestershire sauce. And again, you know, I don't measure. I just kind of wing it. And I'm going to give this a good stir and we'll be ready to add in the rest of our ingredients. We are ready to add our meat back into our Instant Pot. So we're going to put it in and we kind of want to nestle it down pretty darn good into the wine and broth mixture. So I'm gonna kind of push it down in there. This is what's going to get it nice and moist in the cooking process, but also allow your meat to cook completely through and just absorb those flavors of the wine. Oh, I'm so excited. So I've got everything kind of submerged the best that I can into the broth. And then the next step is we're gonna add in some carrots. So you can use as many as you'd like. I'm just gonna to toss a few in here. We like the veggie part of the pot roast for sure. So I'm gonna put a decent amount of carrots and potatoes. And these are literally gonna go just right on top of the pieces of the roast. And then I also have my potatoes here. So I'm just gonna kind of plunk those in as well. And then we're ready to turn this on and get this roast cooking. Very easy. The longest part, honestly, is just kind of searing down your meat and adding all of your ingredients. But from here, it's easy breezy because the Instant Pot does the rest of the work. I just took the lid off of my pot roast. Look at how good this looks. So I'm actually going to remove the potatoes 
and the carrots out of my roast. And then I'm going to remove the meat and put it here on this uh, new cutting board. Uh, make sure you're getting a fresh one since we put raw meat on the other. And then we are going to create a gravy with our liquid that's left here in our Instant Pot. So I am using a slotted spoon to remove the potatoes and the carrots. So let me get those out and then we'll pull the meat out and we'll be ready for that gravy. So everything is out of my Instant Pot. You can see here that there is a decent amount of liquid left. So what I've done here is added a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch and mixed it in with some water and that makes a roux. You want to make sure that you mix your cornstarch with water first before you add it to anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this back on saute so that it gets the pan nice and hot. And I'm going to mix this until our liquid here has gotten a lot thicker and formed a gravy. So our gravy is nice and thick. Look at that. Yum. From the cornstarch. So I went ahead and turned my Instant Pot back off. And then what we are going to do is add back in our meat. Our meat actually looks really good. And then we're going to take a couple of forks and shred it. And that way we have shredded roast. And then we'll add back in our potatoes and carrots into the gravy. It'll be so delicious. So I'm going to get this meat shredded and then we'll add back in our potatoes and our carrots. Once your gravy is nice and thick, look at that, yum. I went ahead and re-added in my roast and I turned off my Instant Pot. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add back in my potatoes and my carrots. And we're gonna give this a good stir and everything will be nice and coated in the gravy. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It smells so delicious in here. So I'm gonna get this kind of mixed together and then we'll get this plated up and I'll be back to show you our completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here's my dinner for tonight. You can have three ounces of the pot roast cooked for only two smart points. I decided to go ahead and have five ounces cooked, so I'm counting that as four smart points. And then I have my carrots here for zero, and I have three smart points worth of potatoes. So my pot roast dinner is a total of seven smart points. And this smells and looks delicious. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, I'm going to be making chicken yakitori. So I've been filling some Chinese food and this is going to fulfill that. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first you're going to need some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So I'm just going to remove the skin before cooking. Unfortunately, my store doesn't carry skinless. So I'm just going to remove the skin. These are boneless, so it should be the exact same points. You'll also need some cornstarch some brown sugar. I'm going to be using sucre and gold. I love this alternative. It is all natural, zero calories, zero points, tastes like legit brown sugar. If you're interested, you can purchase this off of Nettrition's website. There is a link down in the description box below. Click the link and you can spend hours looking at all of the amazing WW Foods products that Nettrition sells. It's a very com comprehensive there are so many options, so definitely check it out. Best price on sucre and gold products, whether it's granulated, powdered, or the brown sugar. My opinion, best alternative out there. Also, we're going to need some rice vinegar. I have the sodium-free, sugar-free, some minced garlic, water, ginger paste, or you could even grate your fresh ginger, but I prefer the ginger paste. It's so much easier. Coconut aminos or soy sauce. Edamame, I am going to have to shell this. My store didn't carry just already shelled edamame, so I picked up this one, basmati rice, and let's get started on tonight's dinner. All right, so let's get going on our dinner. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our chicken thighs just to the bottom of our Instant Pot. We're also going to add in one quarter cup of our brown sugar. I want about a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Now mine's sugar free, so you don't have to be as accurate because there's zero calories, but we don't want it too vinegary either. So there is my rice vinegar. One third cup of water. I have my minced garlic here and I'm just going to put a good sized scoop. As you know, I never really measure my garlic. I love, love, love me some garlic. And then I'm also going to add one third cup of my soy sauce, AKA coconut aminos. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add in my fresh ginger. So I want about a tablespoon or so of ginger, and then we'll get ready to get this cooking. 
Go ahead and give everything a stir because you want to make sure you get that brown sugar kind of mixed in with your chicken pieces here. Now the recipe does want you to add sake. It is optional. I did not use that. And also green onions. Unfortunately, I didn't have any. I thought I did, so I didn't add them to my grocery list and I did not have them. So you can add both of those items as well. And you can also go up to a pound of chicken. So there are only two of us in our household, so this is going to be perfect. I'm gonna pop the lid on on high pressure for 10 minutes. So you can see that I'm busy shelling edamame. So if you can buy them pre-shelled, highly recommended. Cause this, my friends, take some time. You have to wait for them to cool and then squeeze the beans out of all of them. So if you can buy them pre-shelled, definitely do that. The Instant Pot just turned off from the 10 minutes, so we're gonna rapid release it, let all the steam out, pop the lid off, and we'll move on to the next step. Now this smells delicious. So what I've done here is I've taken a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch, mix it with some water, and that basically makes a slurry. And that's going to help thicken up the juices here in the bottom of our Instant Pot. So you just wanna give that a good stir, Make sure that you're mixing it all together. You can kind of push your pieces of chicken to the side. And we want to get this liquid here in the bottom nice and thick. That's going to create the sauce. And then while this was cooking, I went ahead and shelled all of my edamame and I made my rice. So we're just going to let this kind of cook and get thick. You can also turn your Instant Pot onto the saute function if it's not getting thick enough just with the heat from cooking the chicken. So as soon as this is ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and make up our chicken yakitori bowls. So here is the dinner. So what I have here is one half of a cup of the basmati rice, that is three smart points. I have one of the chicken thighs with the sauce and everything is five smart points. Edamame is zero, so this entire yakitori chicken bowl is a total of eight smart points. Thank you for joining me on another episode in my WW Instant Pot series. I really hope you enjoyed these two recipes. I'm telling you, they are all absolutely delicious. My husband loved both of them definitely can't go wrong with either option. So the recipes will be linked down in the description box below, as well as all of my discount codes that I have available to you. My Facebook group link, my happy mail, everything you ever needed to know is down in the description box below. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my channel. I'd love it if you would subscribe, hit that little bell. That way you'll just be notified whenever I upload a new video. That way you don't miss a single one. Please thumbs up this one, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of these two recipes and which recipe do you absolutely have to try. Definitely let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.